We're back tonight as friends and family mourn the loss of a man killed in a workplace accident in Council Bluffs. Those who knew Andy Stroud say they do not think the father and husband had any flaws. KETV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich has the story. Stroud died Friday morning in an accident at 275 Truck Service in Council Bluffs. Investigators still don't know exactly what happened, but friends and family do know that the world lost someone irreplaceable. He was a one of a kind guy. Visiting Andy Stroud's home, you can see the future he'd planned. He's in the middle of building his Camaro back that he had from high school. His brand new truck doesn't even have plates yet, and his wife. His high school sweetheart is pregnant with the couple's second child. Somebody who loved life and just who could chill and hang back and valued family. But that life was cut short at just 32 years old. Council Bluffs police say on Friday, Stroud was working on the suspension of an ambulance at 275 Truck Service when somehow that suspension failed. Trapping him in the wheel well. His family says he was doing a job he loved. He just loved having his hands greasy. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. But his love was strongest for his wife Shayla and their daughter. Elise is four, yep. so she keeps asking lots of questions and when her daddy's going to be home. And you just have to keep, keep telling her. Now, those who love Stroud are getting by by doing one of his favorite things. Gathering together and telling stories. Because so even on the worst best? days, the best memories can somehow bring a smile. I don't know a guy who would sit down after he got off work from a long day and paint his wife's pregnant wife's toenail <laughs> just because she asked him to. Stroud's family is still working on funeral arrangements, but services will be held in Clorinda. Reporting in the Newsplex, Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7. New tonight, grilling out on a 